They say, say, hey, hey, now, baby. Oh, my, my, don't play now, baby. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Reflex, and today I'm going to show y'all some tips and tricks about Fortnite, man. And let me start off by saying this update on Fortnite is insane, man. If you have not played it since then, please try it out. It is an, it's impressive, man. Level You can level up now. I'm at level 14 right now, as you can see. Man, it's just so nice, man. They improved everything. But anyways, guys, to the main of objective of what I'm trying to tell y'all right here, man. Um, 50, I got point fifty on all my sensitivities but scope sensitivity scope sensitivity is maxed out because man it is still too slow maxed out they need to fix this that's the only issue that they really been having when they update is the sensitivity being messed up on consoles I don't know what it is but anyways guys for controller configuration man I can't stress this enough combat pro definitely the way to go man it is so nice to be able to switch back and forth the weapons using L1 and R1 and L1 used to be crouch, but now crouch is now clicking in your right analog stick, which to me is totally fine. I play Call of Duty and play tactical, so I'm so used to crouching with clicking in my right analog stick. I was hoping there was going to be a setting like that in the game, and at first it wasn't, so I was a little disappointed, but now they got it. Man, I'm stoked. Anyways, the only difference mainly that is a little confusing in my opinion that always gets me is the map and inventory it has been swapped. Now, up on the D-pad is your inventory, and the touchpad is your map. I do see myself messing up a little bit here and there. I'll press the inventory thinking it's the map, but I see why they did it, man, because if you accidentally touch the touchpad, if it pulls up the uh, inventory, it will make you freeze, you know, you can't move for a second, so pretty much it can get you killed if you're trying to run and you accidentally hit it, I don't know, it's just, you never know the possibility, it's a lot easier to hit the touchpad than it is the up D-pad, so, you know, I like the way they did it with this controller setup, it's way better, so anyways, it's definitely... A really good setup you must use it, I'm telling you L2 is to change your um, material L1 R1 is to switch from you know floor to wall to you know stairs and roof and then R2 is the same thing to uh, confirm it but L1 used to be rotation and now rotation is clicking in your right analog stick where crouch used to be well where crouch is now that's what it will be when you're in your build mode so that's pretty much the whole setup man and y'all must use it man I'm telling you it's helped me so much I am not lying it's helped me a lot it's a lot better this way and try out that sensitivity too man I feel like that's like the perfect sensitivity guys so I hope y'all enjoyed this video man I'm about to cut it short and I wanted to make a short and simple video so y'all could just see it and I can get straight the point straight out but anyways guys as always leave a like subscribe if you're new and I hope you enjoyed I'm out peace